Hello and welcome to the Two Minute Drill. We've been working through the list of profiles in failure. I want to talk about number four on the list, which is victim confusion. This happens so often. And what it amounts to is the company who has a deep connection to the crisis decides that it's good works and good deeds, because we have been telling them this as communicators all of our careers, you know, when you do good things, you can take credit for them. But if you kill somebody, if you hurt animals, if you destroy some part of the environment, you have a new reputation as a result, okay? And so the issue here is really, again, about um, uh, using your own behavior as a, a mitigating factor. My, my favorite story is, I worked with a, with a uh, wonderful Midwest corporation some years ago, um, and the CEO of that corporation loved Little League Baseball. And he, for years, his, when he was CEO, he contributed to like seven or eight states Little League teams. It happened that one summer day, um, a series of products he, his company sells caused the injury of a number of children and the death of four of them. And at his press conference uh, to make an announcement about what had happened, his first statement out of his mouth was that his company loved children, and he listed a bunch of statistics about all the wonderful stuff he's done for Little League Baseball. Happens that a, a wife of one of the dead children was in the audience, and she raised her hand and stood up and asked him in front of all these cameras and everything else, you know, the question she asked him was, just how many t-shirts is my dead son worth? Victim confusion. Perpetrators can't be victims. Big corporations can't be victims, except under very limited circumstances. You know, talk about victims, we, we've already talked in these series about them, um, and chill out on taking credit for things that are irrelevant at that time. If you'd like a copy of the full list of nine profiles in failure, uh, the information is, uh, appears below.